Right, we're here at Skeldergate at the moment uh, where North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue are running a kind of ferry service to the flats and the old people's homes across the way there. And this is what's happening is that carers and, and, and people who've got business in the flats are actually having to be uh, bussed back and forth by a kind of ferry service. Now I'm just looking around for uh, Stuart at the moment from North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue, who I think is here, and he's going to just explain a little bit about what's going on here. Stuart from North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue, okay. explain what you're actually having to do down here. Well, we've been called here at 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, there's 33 residents in City Mills in York uh, affected by the flooding, just making sure that the carers can get to the residents to make sure they've got the medication and what have you. Right. Uh, that other, otherwise, there's no problem, no danger to them, is there? No, there's no, no immediate danger. If anybody does need to evacuate, we will. We'll take them out, obviously. Uh, but it's just to make sure they have got the medication and everybody's fitting well. Mm, what about services like electricity and stuff like that? Um, the way the buildings are designed, that the obviously from previous floods, the, the residence rolls on the first and second floors, the basements are car park, so the electrics and services are all fine. Do you know how deep it is at the moment? At this end, at this end, the uh, city mills, it's maybe four and four and a half foot. Uh, further along the, the the road, it's maybe up to six foot. Um, yeah. So have you seen this before then in your career? Yeah, in 1999, 2000, obviously before mm. all the flood defences of Malton and Norton and obviously York City, York, uh, the levels were up higher. So, yeah. OK, well, you're doing a great job by the look of it. Thank you. Yeah, but you never thought you'd yeah, do a ferry yeah, service yeah. on Skeldergate. No, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you know, the crews at Malton, you normally used to uh, whitewater rescue, uh, swift water. Um, so this is obviously totally different, but it has inherent dangers. But you're well trained for it. Aren't yeah, you? they have inherent dangers of biohazards and sewage and yeah. manholes, things like that. So it's yeah, it's mm. just to make sure they're safe. Yes, because I saw you just a moment ago. You're carrying around the old uh, Medicare liquid, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You, you know you've got to be really careful. If people don't realise, don't appreciate that, obviously the float, the the sewers are below the water, and they'll pop off and raw sewage in the water mm. in the water as well. Okay, Stuart Hopkins, okay. thank you very much for talking to you're us. Welcome. Stuart Hopkins from North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue there on the press Twitter feed here. And we'll just go back to the water's edge and just see this boat head off again. Uh, this is taking uh, somebody back to City Mills block. As you can see, there's this uh, makeshift pier that has, uh, just looks weird in the middle of the road here. But as usual in these circumstances, the pictures speak for themselves, don't they? This is David Dunning for Press Video News at Skeldergate.